So Caitlyn is a long range sniping marksman with a pretty tasty skill ceiling. If you watch some high elo Caitlyn one tricks play, you'll know just how crazy this champion's potential is. Caitlyn does have a pretty poor mid game though, unless she's super far ahead and is also very vulnerable without her 90 caliber net. So when it comes to your runes and masteries, it depends on which build path you're going to go down. If you want to go for the more traditional route, go down the Partisan Tree with Fleet Footwork and then fill the rest of the runes out for damage and sustain. If you prefer playing the Dustblade build though, you want to go for Dark Harvest and then go for the runes with healing, damage and scaling. For your skill order, you're always going to want to max Q first, and then your W and then E. This is in order of your damage priority. Currently, Caitlyn has a couple of mythic items to go for. The first one is Dustblade of Drakthar. So this item brings a really refreshing playstyle to Caitlyn, which focuses on making her abilities deal more damage and also allows her to really bring some more burst for her team. Gale Force, however, follows the more traditional AD carry build path and plays more towards Caitlyn's longer range auto attacks. For some common options for Caitlyn, the Collector works incredibly well if you go down the Duskblade build as it brings you some insane execute and burst damage. Infinity Edge will work well with both build paths as it gives you that crazy damage and crit to shred down your enemies. Lord Dominic's Regards is also an item you'll find yourself building no matter what as it's essential especially in the late game versus those heavy armor champions. Rapid Fire Cam will also give you the extra range and some decent attack speed bringing up your damage overall and working well in conjunction with your long range abilities. For some other options, you can go for a Storm Razor. This works really well if you go down the Gale Force route, as it allows you to hit your opponent from a long range with a decent slow, and then turn that into a kill. Serpent's Fang is great when paired with Dustblade. This provides extra burst and it will rip through enemy shields. You'll definitely want to pick this up when you're versus heavy shield compositions. Mortal Reminder will definitely be needed if you're against champions with heavy sustain and healing. Finally, we've got a few defensive choices. Guardian Angel is a must have if you find yourself being focused hard and you're struggling to stay alive against enemy threats. Quicksilver Sash is also a perfect choice against those champions with really good heavy crowd control, especially if you're against champions with suppression. So against easier matchups, Caitlyn will absolutely thrive. You'll want to bully your lane as much as possible with your auto attacks, your headshot passive, and the occasional ability combo. Try to set up your traps and abuse enemies who don't respect them. If you get ahead in the early game, it will make your weaker mid game far more tolerable. So against harder lanes though, Caitlyn really struggles against champions who can control the lane against her, or those who can simply 1v1 and outduel her. Despite this, you'll want to abuse your range and still bully the lane. Caitlyn's lane phase is still really strong, so there's no point waiting out till the mid game where you're going to struggle. Don't play too scared and focus on punishing your enemy cooldowns instead, just be careful not to get caught out in those 1v1s. So Caitlyn is infinitely more powerful when she's combined with a support who can help her utilise her traps and her long range. Champions like Morgana who can set up CC to chain with your traps and pick enemies off are exceptional. In the lane phase, you'll want to abuse your strong early game as you outrange most champions in the bottom lane. Look to punish them with constant auto attacks and especially when you've got those headshots ready. After harassing your enemies down, look to finish them off with a well-timed Q into your ultimate. Be careful not to use your 90 caliber net too aggressively in the lane phase as enemies will often try and punish you for it. Despite it being great at comboing and bursting your foes, it's very risky to use too often. You'll also want to be cautious not to permanently push your lane. Caitlyn players have a tendency to do this and they leave themselves really open to ganks. Keep the wave under control and harass your enemies with your range without pushing too hard to get an easy advantage in CS and experience. When it comes to team fights, your main thing to think about is your positioning. You have crazy range, so you want to stay as far away from danger as you can while still dealing maximum damage. Prioritise hitting the closest target whilst also focusing on punishing those high value targets if they do get too close. Try to create bursty combos as your damage can be incredibly hard to deal with if you manage to pull it off. Your EQ combined with your empowered auto attacks will pack a serious punch and your ultimate can easily delete those targets who do manage to escape. Always be thinking about your traps, not only do they provide CC but they will also allow you to respond with a huge empowered long range auto attack. Try to place your traps strategically around the fight and layer them on top of allied CC. Just a quick few tips to finish off now, your traps can be placed under defensive items like Zonya's and Guardian Angel. This should guarantee an easy kill with your burst when they become targetable again. Caitlyn's Q deals more damage if it doesn't collide with minions or other enemies first, so try to position yourself accordingly to allow you to hit that max damage Q on your enemy. You can animation cancel with your Q when you're expecting enemy CC. If you time it correctly you will not lose out on any damage and this can be pivotal in certain matchups. Thanks for checking out this short guide on Caitlyn. Take care.